let's use another parameter operator uh, which is the python operator so uh, what we are going to do so let's say so right now what you what you saw like i have defined all my query all my logic inside one file right everything is there inside this uh, dag file okay so let's say if you want to mention your logic inside another file so for example let's say you are writing the code in python and you want to write your logic in another file let's say that file name is uh, main.py okay inside the main.py file you have mentioned your transformation logic and then you want to call this main.py file inside your dag okay so basically actual logic is present in your main.py file and then this main.py file you want to call it in the in in your dag so in that case uh, i have a operator called python operator so using this python operator you can call the uh, so whatever the method you have defined or whatever the class you have defined in this in your main.py file where you are actually doing some transformation you can basically call that and you can mention it inside the python operator okay you can using the python operator you can call it so for example if you'll see here let's say i want to load this nest uh, json data okay so all, all these data there are 1000 rows i want to load it to my bigquery table okay uh, i want to load it uh, from the gcs to bigquery table and you know to load it uh, so i have defined a file okay so this is my move file dot py where i have defined my actual logic okay so this is my logic uh, I have defined a uh, method or function you can call it inside the function I am passing the table ID and then I am importing Google Cloud from the Google Cloud I am importing BigQuery and then creating the client and this is my table uh, uh, this, sorry this is my project ID data set ID and the table name in which I want to load it okay so this is my job config and here I have defined the schema and here I am converting the file, the source file uh, to the new line delimited format because the JSON data you cannot load it directly. You have to convert to the new line delimited JSON format and then you can load the JSON data to the BigQuery. So here I have defined my URL and after setting up all these values, creating I am creating the load job. Okay, so here I am calling my function load job from the url <coughs> inside that i am passing the url value table id value location job config okay after that i am getting the result and then this is my table name which i am getting and i am printing the value this much uh, rows i have loaded so this logic uh, you can also add uh, any more like if you want to add more logic you can also add here OK, but basically what I wanted to show you. Uh, so this is a separate Python file which I am using and I have defined my logic inside that Python file. Then what I am doing inside my DAG. So this is a DAG where I am uh, ex uh, actually exporting this Python function and this file and I'm using that inside my DAG. So here if you'll see here, uh, if you'll see. So here I am importing that file, right? So this is the move file. This is a move file. Inside the move file, I have defined a method or function. This load table URI JSON. I am importing that load table URI JSON inside this file. Okay. Sorry, inside this DAG file. Okay. And then I am here. What I am doing? Uh, I am calling that function here. Okay. Using the Python operator. So here I have imported also the Python operator and the bash operator also I have imported and I am calling that uh, function. OK, uh, so here I'm calling the function and also the argument is table ID, which I am passing here because uh, this function when you are calling uh, this function is take, uh, taking one argument, right? The table ID so that table ID value I am passing here. OK, so this is how you can define all your transformation 
inside another Python file, and then you can use that. Okay, so uh, let's run it. So uh, let me see if I have. So first of all, what I am doing, I need to upload the table. Sorry, upload the file. This is the uh, bucket where I need to upload. So this I have already uploaded it. Uh, I today only I uploaded it. Test the JSON and then uh, what I am going to do, I am going to. Uh, so here the table name that demo data set name thing. <clears throat> I have also created a demo data set name and inside the demo data set I, there is only station CSV. And then. Uh, so let me upload the DAG. So what I'll do, I will upload the DAG here. So to this DAG folder. Hope it has already uploaded. So this DAG has already uploaded. And uh, okay, just I'll create a folder upload. Sorry, create a folder. Folder name I'll give the composer. Inside the composer folder, I'll upload my move file. Uh, upload the file. Move file. I'll be uploading here. OK, so this move file I have uploaded where I have mentioned my logic in order to load the data. Now if I go to the DAG, <coughs> I can go to my DAG. Now I can see there is import error, right? It is throwing the import error. What is that import error? Let's see. No module name composer dot move file, right? It is uh, throwing this error. Now if I refresh it, error is gone, right? Why it was throwing that error? Because uh, first I uploaded the DAG and then I created that folder and I uploaded the JSON file, okay? So that is why it was giving the error. Sorry, uh, no, I created the folder and uploaded the move file. So that's why it was giving the error. I'll trigger it. Now you can see the first task has run successfully and then it will load the data. Second task which is running. It will load the data to the BigQuery table. OK, second task also uh, got completed and also last one. OK, if you want to see the graph here, this is the graph and if you want to see any of the log, you can also see that. OK, so for example, this is the info loaded 1000 rows, right? So we are printing it from here, right? Loaded uh, this many rows. Here we are printing, right? So that log, so that message it is printing on the log. OK, and it also you can see it is successfully loaded the data to the table. If you go to your BigQuery table, <clears throat> so inside the demo data set here is the demo here you can see that data has been loaded. Okay. Any doubts till now? 